What's up, Wayne Barron here with CFF Coding Source, and today we're going to be installing Visual Studio Community Edition 2022. And now during this installation, we're also going to be installing some add-ons in order to gain the full functionality of using this as a web developer. Come over here and we we'll do a search for Visual Studio Community 2022. Come over to this page right here, and then we choose to download it. And once you download it, it would download this file right here. So we're going to go ahead and launch this file. We're going to go ahead and choose continue. Okay, so now we're going to come over here to ASP.NET Web Deployment. So that's what I'm going to be doing, web development. I'm not going to be doing anything else. If I do need to jump over to one of these other development options, I can easily just launch the installer again and choose them. So what we're going to do is that we are going to... So we've got two things here. Uh, that we need to add in to our installation in order to gain access to certain features that during earlier versions prior to 2019 were already available. Now you have to add them. So one of them is when we come over here to uh, a new website, let's just go ahead and choose always. So if we choose to add a new website, then this right here is our templates, okay? And then if we come over to here, this right here is the templates of the new one. We don't get all of the templates, even though it does show a lot here, the web template is not added into it. So we do not get the website right here. So ASP.NET website or empty website, is not available in the default installation so in order to add that we have to add this right here additional project template so we're going to click here and so the next thing that we want to do is we want to come over here and if we choose this we'll see all these templates right here however this is not available in the default installation the default installation only gives add new items so the new items that are available is only these right here, not this entire list. So in order to get that list, we need to come over here to the Microsoft.NET Framework Project and Item Templates. So we need to have this one and this one right here, both installed along with our ASP.NET and web development in order to properly use this program as a web designer and developer. Now, I also go in here and I change my web installation location. So I'm gonna change that to this right here. So it's gonna be a Microsoft Visual Studio 2022. I'm gonna change that on each one of these. And so it's already got everything changed for me. And so then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna choose install. Okay, so the installation took about nine minutes to complete. So let's go ahead and launch the application and go ahead and close out of the installer. And go ahead and sign in. If you haven't already created an account, go ahead and just create one on the same page. So I'm going to go ahead and get my phone ready. If you have the Microsoft Authentication app, go ahead and have that loaded before you do any of this because if not then it is a pain in the butt so i'm going to go ahead and get it ready and send notification and so three four seven six so we'll seven six and approve and there we go so what we're going to do to begin with is that we're just going to go ahead and create a project or start the creation of a project once this gets finished loading Okay, we're going to click on continue with code, without code, I'm sorry. Or you can choose one of these options right here. I'm just going to continue without code. Okay, so we've got all this right here. Visual, to, <laughs> Visual Studio has been updated to 17.5. This right here gives you all sorts of information on what's new. You can go through all this stuff right here, but we're not going to do that today. We're just going to come over here to file. So we're going to choose new project. Now, the first time that you run Visual Studio, it is going to be a little bit slow. However, that is not always going to be the case because once you run it that very first time, it's got to get everything initialized and all sorts of other good stuff's got to happen. So we're going to come over here and choose our language. I want to choose Visual Basic. And then we're going to come over here and choose Platform. And I'm going to choose Windows. 
and then all project types i'm going to come down here and choose web and that's just going to give me all of the web applications that i am going to want to work with now i never do do a web form because that just loads a lot of stuff in it that i do not want to have to deal with so i usually choose the asp.net empty website go ahead and choose next so i'm going to put this right here inside of my g drive which is right here so we're going to go and create a folder and it's going to be visual studio projects and then that way we can select this folder right here and then we're going to have website one website one it's going to leave everything in the same place uh place solution and project in the same directory and then it's all going to be put inside of right here go ahead and click on create Let's go ahead and close out of this right here. We don't need to show that. And then, so as you can see, we don't have nothing here. Now, what I was telling you about before was the templates, which is what we just went through. So we was able to add in the, the empty web application template. The other item that I mentioned, which was at the very beginning of the options, was adding new items. So we're going to come over here and we're going to choose add. And then right here, it gives you all the different things. So we would do like a web form, but we can also come in here and add classes and all sorts of stuff. So uh, add new item, show all templates. So you can name something or you can show all templates. We're going to show all templates. So that was something new. That was not in the version that I've got installed on my laptop. So then you come right here and then you can choose your web form, your HTML page. You can come down here. You can choose a... Um, Let's see, if you want to add in another configuration file, you would come down here to the web configuration file right there and choose that one. Give it a new name. If you want to come in here and add in just pretty much anything, a generic handler can be added in. So anyway, but that's pretty much it. So we would come over here, we would add in our web form and then it's going to add it in right over here so that we can then come in and edit both that page right here and then when we come over here we want to edit the code behind that'll be right here so that's pretty much it and so one other thing okay, let's go to uh let's do options okay so this is the color theme right here i always like to do dark for my color theme going to choose okay and we should go dark there we go. So that's what I like working with right there. It's a lot easier on the eyes, especially if you're working at nighttime, like I am right now. It makes it a lot easier to work with. All right. I am Wayne Barron for CFF Coding Source. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.